Hi guys, welcome back to Walt and Sarah's channel. Today we're gonna do another bulk box unboxing. We have this giant mystery box down here on the ground. I know you can't see it, but it's here. It came from bulk.com wholesale resourcing. The actual case cost $48, shipping cost $30, and now they're adding on a processing fee of $234. So our box came to $80.34. So welcome to my bulk.com baby shower. Yay! Let's get started. All right, I did cut the box open, did not open it, did not add anything to it. I did cut it open because struggles the bear over here. All right. Let's get into this. This one is mostly kitchen items. Let's see what we got. All right. Never know what kind of condition these boxes are going to come in. Let's start. So our first item here, Bodum Bistro Electric Milk Frother. Frother. All right. The box is taped. What are we working with? Show me what you got. All right, let's see. Okay, so it does have the plastic. It is clearly brand new. Okay, so one time I got a bulk box and <laughs> it was infested with a mouse. And so ever since then, I'm like super paranoid and I just saw like little crumbs at the bottom of that, but it's not, mm, not a mouse. Okay. So we're cool. We're cool so far. I'm, I'm a little cautious whenever I see holes in the box. I'm like cautious. All right. Next we have Bistro, another Bodum item, electric coffee grinder. Thank you. And it is used. Okay, so this must be an uninspected return box. It is used. Okay, so far I'm not as happy as I thought I would be with this one. All right, so this, okay, 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 here we go. Kitchen Smith electric kettle. Brand new baby. No arguing that one. Brand stinking new. Hot darn. Right, we got another little milk frother. Frother. Cool. So we got two of them. Which I knew they were coming. That's honestly the reason I bought this box. Um, hopefully once I actually pull them out and get to look at them, I can determine whether or not they're used. If I have to, I will sell them as used. I'm not going to take the chance of telling somebody that's new if it's not, because that's not cool. Wouldn't want anybody to do it to me. Not going to do it to you. Next, we have a French press. Another Bodum. Hopefully, I'm saying that correctly. A Bodum product. It's new, new, new. I don't know if it's new or not. Another thing. I don't know if it's new. Wow, this thing's cool. Nope, I smelled it. <laughs> it smells brand new. It's never been washed. That's for sure. There's nothing in it. This is really cool. It's a fancy product. So my thinking was when I saw all this, all these products by the same brand, I kind of assumed that they were all going to be new because like more of like an overstock issue rather than just return. Because why are you going to buy three of, well, actually technically four of the same item and then return it? doesn't really make sense like usually you buy one see if you like it you love it then you go buy more but I don't know but I do see, I do believe that those are coffee grounds in the grinder so that's something I'm gonna have to look further into we got some bamboo skewers they are kind of sealed but they <laughs> not really because they got poked through so that would be like a good yard sale item because I would not sell this on like eBay and then send it to somebody and then they have to risk, you know, the fact that it's already been punctured. That's not cool. But at least at a yard sale or flea market, the buyer can look at it and say, okay, hey, listen, I'm only using these for crafts 
or you know to put in my plants or something i don't know what people do with them other than put food on but at least they have that option to make that decision and the inside pack is a hundred percent sealed it's just these top ones that if you're using them for food you might want to rinse them off i don't know where they've been before they came to my house so let's see we got napkin rings four count okay so they're like double so we are missing nope they're all in there all right look i need to slow down so we got some napkin rings there's actually a price tag on here they say 9.99 there's a ten dollar value there sponges some heavy duty scrub sponges there are one okay there's only one i thought there was another one in here oh my goodness we have more sponges colors Cleaning pads, three colors. I thought maybe they changed colors or something. I thought that'd be cool. No, just three different colors. Stuff like that we end up keeping. There's no point in trying to sell them. A nice plastic pitcher, which is excellent because my kids wanted to make Kool-Aid and we didn't have a pitcher. So, so yeah. <laughs> Got a nice pitcher to make some Kool-Aid in. That's cool. Actually, I lied. We have two. This one's heavier than the other one. No price tag on it. That's all right. Made in China, 2019 Target brand. I like them both. I don't know. I'll have to decide. I have to pick one. I know Walt's going to tell me just to pick one. Pick one. Okay. All right. Anytime I see, like, the corners, I get so scared. There's something with gnawing at it. Ugh, I'm paranoid now. I don't even want to touch anything. <laughs> Premium spoons. We got some plastic spoons. Another thing. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I will probably end up just throwing them away because the box is in such rough condition. Super pair. I'm like scared to put my hands in there now. If I see a little mouse running around, I'm done. I'm done with you guys, Bulk. You, you guys took care of me on that case. That was disgusting. And I appreciate that. But I'm scared to put my hand in there because some of this stuff looks a little rough. Okay. <sighs> We got this, guys. We got this. We got more napkin rings. There's no food in here, I don't believe. So, I mean, we have gotten food. Um, so they were $10.99, and now they're down to $3.28. So this is probably going to be like an overstock item, not necessarily returning. I see a clearance sticker. I assume that it's just overstock. So we have two of them, one in silver, one in gold. So it'll be a good like flea market item. We have one of these wine tumblers, but no lid. So far, it could be down there, but so far, no lid. Sorry. Glug, glug. Bottoms up. And this is probably kind of cool. We have a few of these. There's so far four of them in here. No price tag. Fairly new of course like i said whenever you get like more than one of the same item it's pretty safe to assume that it's not a return but rather an overstock so we have more of them we have four total oh we're missing the lid nope i see it i need to stop talking before i know there we go why the lid is off oh no 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 it's like a glittery kind of hard texture to it but it's a good grip, like if you're working out. Okay, maybe that's why the lid's off. It doesn't look like it's going on. Okay, we'll play with that later when the camera's off. Ooh. Oh, it's a gingerbread house cookie cutter. Get ready for this. It's a gingerbread house cookie cutter. There we go. <laughs> there we go. It's got like a weird rubber around it. Oh, nice. Okay, let's keep going. So we have at least two of them so far with two gingerbread houses. So cool. Ooh, it's like a rose gold color. It is called Sit by Swell. This sip travel mug was created so you can quench your thirst from dawn 
Bond film dusk. Oh, hot and cold. Okay. All right. So Mama might be using that for her homemade iced lattes. What else do we have? Ew. We have this cool cup. Oh, Starbucks. No way. This is a $13 mug from Starbucks. All right. That's pretty cool. I've never seen these before, especially from a bulk Target box. Pretty neat, guys. I don't see any creepy crawlies. We have more napkin rings. This one says, was $10.99, now $5.48. Pretty cool. If anybody interested in uh, some napkin rings, let me know. I got three of them now. Another one of these. This one needs to be cleaned. It's kind of yucky on the outside. It needs a good love. It needs some love. No bueno. Alright. Another sponge. This one is actually open. So. A cup. Kind of dirty cup. A cup. A cup nonetheless. A random lid that is cracked. Hopefully this doesn't go to any of our bodum coffee stuff because it is cracked. I don't know what else that would go to. Oh, unless it goes to one of the pictures. It does. Let me just pick this up. Oh, that's why it's in here. Let me take my wine tumbler out. So we have a picture and the lid. Where? Hold on, this feels right. That stinks. That's craft. That's all right. You get what you get when you order from Polk. We have more of the sponges, which are open. But you know what? These are good for, like, outside cleaning, even. When you're wiping down maybe some stuff from storage units. And you don't want to use your kitchen sponges, of course. So use the ones that are already open. Because you don't want to use them on your dishes and whatnot. So use the open ones for your outside stuff. And then, Walt's going to kill me when he sees these, but <sighs> Frozen 2 Ziploc Snack Bags. Yes, yes, guys. Okay, and I'm not going to pull out every single one of them, but I'm going to count them real quick. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We have 13 Ziploc baggies. Let it go. Now these, we are going to just keep. We're not even going to bother selling them. Especially with the kids being home, school. They, they need to portion out their snacks. Because trust me, when they're sitting in line, through when they're schooling, they're just taking the whole bag of cheeses and chomping away. Nope. Anna and Elsa are going to put y'all in your place. So we have our snack bags and then we have this big pack of what size are you da, 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 da. gallon slider storage bags they are not the freezer ones but they are still wonderful to have i am that mom that puts like everything in a ziploc bag like all their schoolwork ziploc bags all their little toys ziploc bags all the baby stuff ziploc bags so these are great to have even if I don't use them for food, because I might get grossed out that it's already open. I don't know. They look okay. I'm going to assume they're okay. But, you know, if there is a box that's a little rougher than the others, then, you know, I might just use it for crafts, kid stuff, little toys, whatever. And our very, very, very last item in here, we have the actual name brand Ziploc quart storage bags. And this is a 24 count. So we have a lot of Elsa and Anna little zippies. We have some sponges, some cups, the Bodum stuff, which I'm really hoping is where we get our money back. And then the rest of it is just pretty much, it was just fun to unbox, you know, a giant, I say mystery box, because you never know what you're going to get with bulk. You know, there's some times where the pictures look awesome and you think you're getting something brand new. You know, the pictures make it look, I don't know, like... Fun fact, so one time we saw a tablet in the picture and they had it listed that this box included an Amazon tablet. 
So Walt and I are like, oh my gosh, you know, it's not that much money. Let's jump on it. Let's buy it. We get the tablet and it's one of those kid ones. And we're like, ooh, even better. Anything we can keep for our kids. Heck yeah. We open up the box because we're like, this is awesome. We open up the box. The screen is completely cracked beyond repair, which I don't, where, where we live, the guys that do like the screen repairs will not repair Amazon tablets. They say it's not worth it. They, you just go buy another one. They will not repair Amazon tablet screens. So the screen was completely cracked and there was a whole bunch of dirty paper towels in the box. So that sucked because I actually purchased that box based on that picture and that item to come to find out that it was just complete trash. Like I literally could not do anything with it. And that really put a nasty taste in my mouth with bulk. But then you kind of wait it out because it seems like they go through waves. You kind of wait it out. And then once you see the prices going down, like this box was $80. And I said, okay, you know what? For $80, I'm willing to take another gamble, give them another try. We got all this coffee stuff. I'm a big coffee drinker, so even if I can't sell it, I can use it. And for 80 bucks, I got to make a video. I got all these Ziploc baggies. Hello. Got a bunch of cups I can sell at our flea market. Sponges to use around the house. It's awesome. So we go up and down. And sometimes you'll find things, like even though they'll have things listed, you'll go back and look at like your invoice, your manifest that gives you details on what you're getting, how much they say it's worth, blah, blah, blah. So you can actually receive it and you might have more than what you expected or it'll just say like general items and then those general items are generally pretty cool stuff. It's a gamble, just like our scratch offs. Reselling is pretty much a gamble, just as the same. All right, so I'm gonna clean these up, go find a place to keep all these Ziploc baggies and hide them from my husband because he's gonna make me sell them. So I'm gonna go find a place to put these and clean them up, wash up these cups because we're going to the flea market tomorrow. So hopefully we can get them cleaned up and get them sold. And I'm gonna play around with these Bodum coffee items and check out their value. Actually do some research on it, see what I can save, see what I can resell, see what I'm gonna sell on eBay, see what's worth it to take to the flea market with us. So I got some work to do. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about bulk or about my experiences, please comment down below. I will get back to you and let you know.